What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about three upcoming futuristic smartphones due for 2016-2017, so let's go ahead and get started. So coming up first is the Sidekick bracelet. So this guy was announced in 2014 and to do around 2016, late 2016 I believe. So this guy is essentially an Android phone on your skin. So this device allows you to send and receive emails, browse the web, and play games, and you can also make phone calls with this guy. The bracelet has a built-in speakerphone and also some of the other features that it has is it has LED for notifications. It also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and micro USB support for charging, and it'll be available in 16 32 gigabyte configuration. So really excited for this. This really looks like the future. It's a really awesome little device. Now it's set to cost up to $400, but um, we'll have to wait and see when it actually releases. So next on the list is the Zoo Transparent Display. Uh, backed by Lenovo, so this guy is a really awesome. Uh, it has a 5.5 inch screen with 1080p resolution, Snapdragon 801 processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. So it's got some pretty nice specs, also with a 4,100 milliamp battery pack and a fingerprint sensor in USB type C and it's going to be priced at about $300 so I'm really excited for this one. This one we might be seeing much sooner than the rest on this list. Uh, we should see this maybe in 2016. So they said this doesn't run Android so don't get too excited. It runs its own operating system uh, but that could change because this is just a prototype for right now. Like, Last on the list is the Taki 3D smartphone. So this guy was announced in about 2014. So we can expect this guy um, probably in 2017 and late 2016. So this guy is a holographic 3D display smartphone. And it's sort of a mix between the Amazon Fire Phone and like an HTC Evo 3D. It's just more realistic. It uses some special sensors to be able to track your face to give you a more 3D effect and more realistic one. And it has a special processor in it. So it's going to be running Android and this is one to look out for and one I'm really excited for also That's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>